Start on this Friday night, two emails from Denton County educators have set off a firestorm that has Attorney General Ken Paxton now taking action against them. Yeah, those emails from principals at two schools in Denton ISD encourage their staffs to who to vote for in the upcoming state primary. J.D. Miles has more on the fallout from this brewing controversy. Emails from principals to their faculty and staff at two Denton ISD schools encourage them to vote in next month's state primary. But some primary candidates for state representative say the emails also illegally encourage them who to vote for. Obviously, you can't use tax resources, uh, things that we paid for by our public tax money to be used against us. I think that there needs to be disciplinary action. State House District 64 candidate Andy Hopper is referring to lines in the email such as vote for candidates who support public education and school funding in the Republican primaries. Consider thinking from a purple mindset in future elections, voting for the candidate that will support public ed and funding in the future, despite their party affiliation. There's an effort to weaponize various demographics, various constituencies for candidates, but what's not appropriate is to weaponize it with tax money, and that's what we saw here. Attorney General Ken Paxton has already filed lawsuits against the principals, claiming the emails are targeting conservative Republican candidates like Hopper and Mitch Little, who support voucher programs for school choice. If you're following what's going on in the election, it's a, it's a very targeted message against the more conservative candidate. Little wants to see public school educators who use their position to oppose school choice to be held accountable. I don't think I want to see a, a elementary school principal thrown in jail. I, I don't think most people in Denton County want that sort of thing. However, we do want to be held to the same standard under the law as the people who are teaching and administering our kids in the school system. I think everybody in Denton County wants that. The lawsuit accuses the principals of using their district emails to violate the state election code by distributing political advertising. It seeks a restraining order and an injunction to stop it from happening again. J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.